Hey guys, Riley Spanish here, and in this video I'm going to be showing a couple of cards that I just picked up. I was in the area of one of my favorite local card stores called Vortex Games. They're in Orange Park, Florida, and they do have a TCG Player Pro website as well. Um, but basically picked up a couple of singles that I needed for my Wizards of the Coast sets, and then one extra Black Star promo just because... Um, it was a dollar, and I couldn't beat the price there. So in total, I believe it was $17 for all of these cards. And um, when they mark something as heavy play or damaged, usually they're, they're pretty, um, I don't know, they err on the side of caution. So usually it's a little better than I would expect for something marked as those conditions. But first... There is a Scyther Holographic from Jungle. This is probably the best looking um, of all the holographic cards that I picked up. There's a little bit of damage to it, but I think the bulk of the reason it got... Oh, it's hard to see the edges with this um, decorative type of sleeve. But anyways, very happy to pick that one up. And then a Vile Plume Hollow from Jungle. This one does have a... Um, a little scratch through the hollow foil somewhere. It's hard to see. Oh, and then down the side of the card. But these will be displayed in a binder, and I think they're going to look just fine in there. So happy to pick that one up in hollow form. A Dark Gyarados non hollow. I did not have this one in my Team Rocket set yet, just missing a few of the non hollows. So now I have this one. And then an Entei, Wizards of the Coast Black Star promo with a nice swirl right there on the name of the move. And um, yeah, I believe this was a dollar or a dollar fifty. And it's got a little wear around the corners, but other than that, it's not in too bad a shape. So couldn't hurt to pick up an extra one of these. I figured, why not? And then probably the one in the roughest shape is this Hypno. It's got a scratch through the hollow foil that runs right across the bottom of the picture there. Um, but like I said, this is all going in a binder for my own personal collection, and I may upgrade it in the future for one in better condition, but happy to fill in the gap for just a couple dollars for this one card. Buying one in good condition, you know, you're looking at 20 plus dollars just for the one card. So happy to fill in a couple of blank spots in my binders from this pickup from Vortex Games. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing for more Pokemon card content.